By giving this law, whoever sheds the blood of a human being, an innocent person, by man, by man shall his blood be shed. Now today I want to tell you a story. Can I have my Bible? Please. Thank you, sir. <laughs> my friend, Pastor Paul Hill, was a great preacher. He had three beautiful children. And he was a young man in his 30s, his late 30s. A tall man like myself, but better looking than me. A beautiful blonde hair, a beautiful wife, wonderful children. My friend Paul Hill saw that these babies were being killed. My friend Reverend Paul Hill lived in Florida. In the southeast United States. My friend Pastor Paul Hill, he went to the clinic where they were murdering these babies. For years, Paul Hill went to this clinic, carrying these signs, carrying this sign with these words, telling these doctors, you quit! You stop! Stop murdering God's children. Paul Hill said, the Bible says, God hates the hands that shed innocent blood. It's in the book of Psalms. Paul Hill screamed it. Day after day after day after day. And they murdered these babies. Every week they murdered these babies. They ignored Paul Hill. Day after day after day after day. Month after month. Year after year they ignored this man of God. They said, ah! No one sees. <laughs> this guy is crazy. These babies are too little. They can't defend themselves. And we tell the women, ah, we're setting you free from a burden. Now you can go to school. You don't have to worry about this baby inside you. Even it's worthless. It's just like a tumor. Just get rid of it and go on with your life. And just ignore this man, this preacher, Paul Hill. Don't pay attention to him. Year after year after year. One day, Paul Hill was working. He was cleaning cars. You see, he would preach and also to support his family, he would clean and paint cars. My friend Paul Hill was a hard working man. God on this day laid on his heart. Even as God spoke to Abraham, God spoke to the spirit of Pastor. Pastor Paul Hill. And he said, Pastor Paul Hill, I have called you and anointed you to defend these babies, to be an example of a man of God, a father to the fatherless. You see, God is a father to those who have no fathers. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. God is a father to you if you have no father. If you will cry out to him, if you will reach out to him, God will be your father. If you're an orphan, amen? Or if you don't know who your father is. Or if your father is a devil. God is ready and willing to step in and say, I'm your father. Maybe this man, according to the body, is your father. But I, you are my offspring. 
Lakini unginyi ni watoto wangu. That's what God says to the father. Hivyo ndivyo Mungu anasema kwa asiyo na baba. He reaches his hand to the father of his child. Yosha mikono yake kwa huyu mtoto asiye na baba. You have a daddy. Na anasema wewe una baba. I'm your daddy. Mimi ni baba yako. Amen. Amina. God showed the heart of my friend Paul Hill. Mungu akaonesha roho ya rafiki yake Paul Hill. I have called you to be a father to these babies. These babies are in the womb of a woman. You see, they can't even be seen with human eyes. They can't even be seen. But they're there. Imagine nine months before the Christmas day. Where was God? Where was God? Serious, who can answer? Where was God? For those nine months, before the day of the birth of Jesus, where was Jesus? Where was he? Was he not in the womb of his mother? Amen? You see, God was in this form. God who created heaven and earth was not ashamed to be in this form in the womb of a woman. In the womb of a woman. Amen. Hallelujah. So what God laid on the heart of Paul Hill this day was that he should defend those children. Now let me ask you. I want to ask you if someone was coming to do this to your child how can you respond if someone comes right now this precious boy to tear his arm off to cut him to pieces how can we respond will we stand by will we, will we do nothing Will we do nothing? Will we defend this boy? Yes? No? I speak for myself. Yes. yes. Hey, I'm going to defend this boy. Maybe God has said you turn the other cheek. Right? But God didn't tell me to turn this baby's cheek. Amen? Amen. God didn't tell me to allow the innocent to be killed. You see, I serve the Jesus who told his disciples, you take swords. You take swords. Not to attack people, but to defend the innocent. Amen? To defend the innocent. So on that day, Paul Hill went and bought a gun. Now, I'm not suggesting anyone do any such thing. In America, it's, it's legal. It's okay. We buy a gun. In America, a gun is like a panga. But when God put on Paul Hill's heart, was that no more babies would die that day in that clinic. Are you hearing me? Are you understanding me? And Paul Hill took that gun, he went and kissed his babies. Pastor Paul Hill said goodbye to his wife. Yeah. He didn't tell her what he was going to do. He sent her to visit her mother. And he took this gun, shotgun. And after years of warning them not to kill God's children, Paul Hill said, I am drawing the line right here. And when the doctor came to tear apart those 12 children that morning, you see that morning there were 12 children scheduled to die. Paul Hill met the doctor. And instead of arguing with him with words, Paul Hill defended the children of God. And it looked like this. That man then was like this baby. That man who would have killed this baby couldn't kill this baby. Guess why? 
Kwa because he had no head. Because he had no face. Uso. Because Paul Hill stopped him. Paul Hill you see, God has not called his children Mungu wake, to stand by while innocent people are slaughtered. Wake, Amen. Amina. God has not called us to stand by with our hands tied. While his children are put to death. Amen. 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 God has called us to defend those who have no defense. But the USA has taken the side of Satan. After being rich for so many years. You know, God brought the USA up from poverty. These days it's almost impossible to imagine. But there was a day when the USA was poor. There was a day when the USA when people lacked for food. But God raised these people up because they humbled themselves. They humbled themselves before God. And he raised them up. But the trouble is if you have too much for years and years and years you know what happens? The heart of man is weak. Amen. People forget their God. And the worship of God becomes a hypocrisy. They speak words. In God we trust. But their actions. Their actions. Tell the truth. About who is their God. About who is their God. Let me read from the word of God. Psalm 10. Why do you stand far away, O Lord? Why do you hide yourself in times of trouble? The wicked in his pride persecutes the poor. The wicked boasts of what his heart desires and blesses the covetous person whom God hates. Psalm chapter 10, verse 7, his, his mouth is full of cursing and lies and fraud. Under his tongue is mischief. Verse 8, he sits in the secret places. Hiding in the villages. And in these places he murders the innocent children. And he sets his eyes against the poor. He crouches. He, hi he hides. So the poor falls down. And this man says in his heart, God has forgotten. God has forgotten. He hides his face. God will not see me murder these children. Verse 12, Arise, O Lord. O God, lift up your hands. O Lord, do not forget the humble. Why does this wicked contemn God? You see, the wicked man has said in his heart, God will not avenge. But you, God, you have seen it. For you see this mischief and spite. And you will, and you will avenge it. Amen. The poor one and the fatherless commits himself to you, O God. You, O God, are the helper of the fatherless. And God in his strength will break the arm of the wicked man. Amen. God will break the arm of the wicked. 
who attack his children. It's true, isn't it? It's true. 